One couple in our area has had more than its share of problems. Kidney disease has been a major concern for years for Marsha Cunningham and her oldest son, LJ. And then their youngest son, Jordan, ended up on a ventilator last fall as a result of vaping. Now with Jordan on his way back to good health, word that Marsha has officially been placed on the kidney transplant list. Her husband, Leon, told our Lisa Sugar that they are praying for a phone call soon. A drums woman had been on the kidney transplant list, but health complications took her off the list. But thankfully now she is back on that list. Need your prayers and your help right now. Here to tell us about it is her husband, Leon Cunningham, the husband of Marsha Cunningham of Drums. You got the good news. She's officially back on the list and we're hoping you get a call in the middle of this interview. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm holding my phone right now because that's what I'm waiting for. It could be any minute. So you've gone through some tough times because of a disease that has stricken not only your wife, but your children as well. Yes, my wife and four children also have the same disease. And what is that disease? Polycystic kidney disease called PKD. So now your wife, Marcia, has been living for how long with no kidneys? It's going on right around seven years. She has been surviving thanks to dialysis. Three days a week, um, sits in a chair to keep herself alive four hours a day. Wow. And thankfully, you got back on this list now. So in order to make this happen, you need a donor. So tell us what that donor needs to have to qualify to be an official donor. Uh, a blood screen would have to be done. Uh, my wife is B positive. Uh, match would be B positive or any of the O's. Um, there is a blood screen that would be done, which matches that also with a tissue match and a cross match. Obviously, you can live with one kidney because your wife has been living without any, and your son is also dealing with this disease as well, so you're hoping that he soon also goes on the kidney transplant list. Yes, he's been now without both kidneys. Um, it's going on about eight years, or not eight years, eight months. But someone can donate a kidney and live successfully without the need for dialysis with just one kidney, correct? Yes, it's very sustainable. My wife, my son had done it for many years. Um, you know, you can live. That's why they call it share your spare, because it is a spare. I know it's difficult to give it up, but you can definitely survive on one. And if someone out there thinks, I want to help, you want them to know that there's no cost incurred to them if they should step forward. There's no cost incurred to the to the donor. Um, all the hospitalization, the, the blood work, the medications, um, the hospital stay is paid through my insurance. So no cost to the person that donates, but there is a couple weeks time downtime after they do the donation. Yes, that is unfortunate. It's part of what it is, and it takes about two weeks you, till you get back to kind of where you need to be. Who do they call to say, I'm interested in helping? That would be the Hershey Transplant Center. And you said Amy is the person to speak with. Yes, you would speak with Amy. She would then advise you what you would need to do, would set you up. You would tell them you're looking to be a possible donor for my wife, Marcia Cunningham. And then she would go through the process and tell you what needs to be done. Leon, I can't tell you how much you guys are in our thoughts and prayers that we hope that this is resolved, that your wife gets a kidney. We're praying for you guys. I appreciate it. And like I said, my wife right now is, you know, I see a smile on her beautiful face in days that, but I know behind that smile is tears. There's pain, there's fear, there's frustration all at the same time. So I'm kind of out in a pleading area right now where I'm kind of begging for help. Like I said, right now she's at the point where we've got young grandkids. Um, I know she wants to play. The, with the weather breaking now, she can't go out and do the things like she used to do. The number is up on your screen for the Hershey Transplant Center and also for Leon himself. If you have questions, he'll be glad to answer them. And hopefully the Cunninghams do find that angel.